Uh, reporting on the weather is one of our primary functions of our job, so we're required to be familiar with pertinent weather and to pass that along. Um, the three methods that we mainly use are uh, PI reps, uh, high was information, which would be SIGMETs, convective SIGMETs, AIRMETs, Center Weather Advisories, um, and then what we actually have depicted on our radar. An important difference, though, is the weather that's depicted on our radar is purely precipitation. It does not uh, depict convective activity. Best thing that I would say, if you're a pilot and you're encountering a thunderstorm, let us know. We'll vector you however far you need to vector, descend you, climb you. Um, the biggest thing is to let us know because we cannot always see what you are seeing out your windshield, you know, since we're only de depicting um, precipitation. Um, so just let us know what you need and we're more than happy. That's our job is to provide safety for you and get you around that. But the best thing to do is just talk to us and let us know what you do see. And that's the biggest difference between VFR pilots and IFR pilots is that they are on, the IFR pilots are on their routes, you know, and if they need a deviation, they must ask. The VFR pilots, they're allowed to kind of deviate, climb, descend. But again, just talk to us, tell us what you need, and we'll help you out. One of the biggest sources of where we know where thunderstorms is, is just talking to the pilots and getting feedback from the pilots because we only do, pre we only do show precipitation on our radar. So hmm. whenever pilots have something useful information about any buildups or convective activity, that's you know, our main source of real-time information. We really encourage you to give us the PI rep so that we know it and we can, we can tell the other pilots that are in the area what you've just experienced. You know, if you needed to deviate around something, if you experienced turbulence, it's, it's great for us to know that so that the other airplanes in the area, we can also tell them. Tell us if you need to deviate, even if it is a mile or two just out of the way, because presumably if you need to deviate, there are deviations going on everywhere, so we need to know exactly what you're doing so that we can take the appropriate course of action to kind of keep you safe, keep you, and you know. Quite, quite often there's, there's other, other traffic out there. That's the biggest reason. Um, you know, if, if IFR pilots start turning on their own, even if it's only a few degrees or a few miles, uh, you, you never know what, what other traffic may be nearby, what type of separation is being applied, you know, passing and diverging. Someone you just passed might be descending on the other side or to the left or the right. Especially during bad weather days because there's just deviations going on everywhere, so it, it gets a little, a little bit more complicated on the bad weather days. We may not see the, we do not see the buildup that you do see. We may have had a previous pilot report, in which case if we know where a buildup is that we do not uh, have radar depicted, we will move you to keep you safe. But if it's something that we don't, you know, we don't see, we don't know about it unless somebody's told us about it, you know, you cannot, you can't assume that we'll move you. If you see something, say something because, you know, we're sitting in a dark room looking at the radar scope, looking at little blips. Yeah, and don't ever feel like you're disturbing the controllers because that's what we're there for is to keep you safe and get you what you need. So just ask for what you need and, you know, we'll do it for you if we can.